Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the map editor and welcome back to this island that we are making last time. We were polishing up a few rough edges, the time before that we were, well we were expanding one of the beaches and the time before that we were adding skelly bobs to the world, skeletons, because, well the crew of the cargo ship needed somewhere to be, other than... I guess rescued. Uh, yeah, the island is pretty big, pretty pretty huge. I'm going to just turn the audio down in my own headphones. Ah, that's better. There's nothing like hearing a bunch of music and trying to talk at the same time. Uh, so yeah, we're in the map editor at the moment. Um, we have basically just taken the first island the map editor gave us. We didn't randomly generate a new world or a new terrain, and we didn't uh, we didn't really play around with the, the island that much. We just started adding trees. We started adding wrecks, and we. We just went with it. Uh, so yes, uh, episode before last, we tidied up this beach by just adding a little bit of interest, these two trees and some rocks. And then, and then the other side of the lagoon, we tidied up this beach. Oh yeah, I forgot about the shark that sort of flies. Um, by adding another ficus, um, adding some rocks, adding some plants, and then just adding a little, little tree tunnel because because it's nice. But one of the main problems with the island is, is, well, there are resources, but we haven't gone around specifically adding resources, so we're going to need to do that as part of the whole wrapping this whole island thing up. So uh, we're going to need to go into trees, and we're going to need to make sure there is an abundance of things like um, sort of uh, fibrous leaves we're going to need to make sure there are certain medical plants certain fruit plants fruit trees uh, we have been adding this stuff in as we've been going along but um well we we need to make sure there's a certain amount of this stuff we also need to go into items and uh where are they items there we are and start adding things like treasure uh just loose on the beach so that someone coming to the island for the first time uh who had has nothing in their inventory might be able to get a shelter or something together so all the little all the little trinkets and stuff we don't want to overload the island with treasure because that defeats the point of the game if you don't earn it then you know you just it doesn't feel right uh so if you're joining us for the first time in the map editor we're using w to go forward s to go back a to go left d to go right q to go down e to go up uh, we're clicking and holding the right mouse button to pan the camera around. Uh, if we select an object, is that an object? That's an object. We hit uh, R to rotate, T to transform, C to clone, delete to delete. Have to click on delete. And once it's selected again, we can press F to focus. Uh, the larger the object, I think that's the ficus tree that we have selected. Uh, the larger the object, the further out from uh, from the object you go. So if you select a cliff piece, can we select a cliff piece and hit F? We go quite a long way out if we select the shark. Ooh, can we select the shark from back here? Yes, we can. F pulls us right in because he's a small boy. Well, ooh. Uh, <clears throat> that's the other problem with a map editor. So one of the one of the issues is that the camera has no constant velocity. So uh, as you're moving around an island with a lot of objects, the camera is in the moving very fast, or very slow. So out at sea. It moves its full velocity. Uh, every time you get close to an object, it slows down for each individual object and then speeds back up again, which means uh, on, an, on an island like this, where we have placed many, many objects, you might find the camera jerks around. It is not your computer being slow. It's it's literally the... It's, a, it's the camera. It's something that's not been fixed since forever. So just trying to line up the camera on this boy. I'm literally just tapping W, tap it, holding S now, and then boom, we're just straight back through those trees. So yeah, that's one of the main main problems you'll find in an island with a a, a boatload of uh, items on it. Um, you're gonna have a, a hard time navigating after a while. We'll move this guy out a little bit further uh, over the sea. I don't know whether to keep him. He seems kind of friendly. Ugh. I'm going to collect terrain and objects so we don't have anything selected and then just start going around adding things. One of the things we're going to need to add are palm trees. We've added these ones along the beach and they are very decorative. But, 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 uh, players will come along and they'll start hacking things down because that's what players do. So we're going to need to add a lot of palm trees. We need to add, you know, various bits of pieces that uh, players are going to need in terms of resources. Uh, fires will burn 
uh, burn a lot of wood, burn through a lot of wood. Buildings consume a lot of wood. Rafts consume an insane amount of wood. Uh, you would kind of hope that people would in wood uh, would in fact go to a different island rather than the home island and harvest wood from there in order to make these things. But some people don't. Some people are quite happy just to take an axe and deforest their own island, which is why we've used a lot of ficus trees that can't be harvested. Um, so we use pines, we need to use palms. Palm 4, short one. There is a slight problem with palm 4. If you move it away, the top appears when it's close and disappears when it's far away. Don't worry about that. That's an LOD bug, or level of detail bug, in the map editor. Um, for some reason, certain things have missing LOD levels. So if you push it far enough away, uh, its top appears, then it disappears, then it appears again. Hmm, so you have to get quite close to it in order to actually position it. Uh, the same thing actually happens with the cargo ship. Hello cargo ship, we haven't really looked at you for a while. If you move far enough away, all the containers start appearing on the deck of the ship. If you move any, any amount closer, then they all disappear and you're like, oh, oh, maybe I'll start putting stuff on the deck. No, 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 there, there is already stuff there. It's just, it's not being rendered properly. Did I see a line in the ocean just then? Hmm, what well, that was about. Uh, okay, maybe that was just a water mesh or something. Anyway, uh, trees. Okay, so we're gonna grab uh, palm three. I'm just putting them around the outside of the island. Um, specifically, so I put... Oh no, that's wrong. That's the other thing that happens. Oh no. That's the other thing that happens. So I'm gonna select this cliff piece again. Uh, and I just want to make sure it is completely lined up and not having any gaps or anything. So, um, what tends to happen when you have a lot of objects together, uh, specifically over here, in fact, no, I think we're okay. Uh, what tends to happen when you have a lot of objects together, especially layered like this, is the object that you have selected, when you let go, sometimes it snaps onto something in the background. If there is something in the background, why does that happen? I really wish it didn't, and I don't know. Um... I, I honestly don't know when you when you let go of the mouse button it's a pain in the butt it really is so I'm gonna pull another tree out here so these guys are, are literally part part here for decoration and partly here for uh, resources um, if we go down we do need to make sure the trunks are actually in the ground and is that leaf I was gonna say that leaf not connected but no these are sprites so um, when you look at a sprite edge on then tends to Tends to become invisible because it only exists on a not even a 2D well a 2D plane yeah say so not not a 3D plane a 2D plane so we're gonna add some trees around uh, little little resource boys uh, wherever we need to uh, terrain objects so we don't have any selected because one of the things that can happen when you have something selected is um, you might have something selected in the background and then you go to move something out of the toolbox ah. Eee, this is going to be fun. Uh, you have something selected in the toolbox and uh, it, it just moves two things at once. It shouldn't happen, but it does happen. That's actually a, a Windows interface issue. Uh, so the palm over here. Nice. And uh, rotate. Ah. It's decoration, but decoration, they can be cut down. Um, these do leave uh, tree stumps, so you can't really build on top of them. And that is a little caution. If you are if you're moving these things uh, onto your island, be very careful that you're not moving them to a place where a player might want to put a farm or a, uh, a house or a tiny picture of the queen or um, park the heavy impala. I don't know. I don't know. We're just moving things around. Uh, so throw it in, stick it down, throw it in, uh, trying not to ruin anything that we've already done um, by way of not, not putting too many trees together. Uh, three is good, two is good, four tends to make little squares of things, so gotta be careful about that. Terrain objects, uh, palm three, oh, palm three, T, um, and also ruining sight light because we, we've very careful to to uh, make sure there are sight lines around the island. We don't want to ruin them. So when you're running along the beach, you can see um, see the larger wrecks 
uh, along these sight lines. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, train objects. There we go. There we go. T. Ra. Zoop. Don't spin because the tops, uh, the tops of the palms are actually all identical. So you don't want them um, all standing in line because otherwise it looks a little weird, a little strange, a little. Um, I don't know. Uh, palm two. I think we can just squeeze you in there. We can absolutely squeeze you in there. The other thing that you'll get from these is coconuts, which gives you a little bit of water in an emergency. And it also gives you... Uh, oh, don't let go of that one. I'll hit delete from the button in the corner. Uh, it also gives you a little bit of food, but not too much food, because I believe the diarrhea thing is still in, but only for coconuts. They never expanded it to other fruit. And I'm like, hmm, but you can survive on coconuts in the real world. So why would they... Why would they do this? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's a little, little poly boy. We're going to add quite a lot of uh, vegetation to the island. We're going to add a lot of vegetation to the island. Um, but the rule of two and the rule of three, I know we had four on the other side, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, so there's plenty of, plenty of wood going on here. And now we're in the top of... Uh, well, that's what the top of a palm bunch looks like. A load of sprites jammed into the top of a polygon. Excellent. Now we're stuck in it. Ah. We were. And now we're not. Hmm. That's, uh, that's how the day is going. So we are going to grab part three. Just sort of... Hmm. Got to be a little bit careful. What I don't want to do is add them into an area where they're going to end up in the sea. Uh, due to changes in tide. We've been very careful to keep plants out of the sea uh, during high, high and low tide. So that's fine. Uh, and you hear T. Ruh. Using the keyboard shortcuts because, I mean, why would you not? Um, unfortunately, this one is kind of clipped in. I'm going to delete that and then redrag it out. The redragging it out means it just follows the terrain. Um, palm trees can't, in the map editor anyway, uh, can't be angled any other way than up. Uh, so with it up, it's it's kind of easy to place a palm tree. Um, in the real world, in the in the game, you can find them all angled all over at the different angles, and it's kind of cool. You can make little bridges with them. And if a player was to come along and just chop the bridge down, then that would stop them from accessing whatever you've uh, whatever you've put up there. So it's kind of a little little um, little trick, little little cast. Uh, yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. Making an area that's only accessible via via the trunk of a palm tree that is angled over to one side. And if the player were to come along and chop it down for wood, then they would absolutely block themselves off from that part of the island. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of an interesting concept. Wish we could try it, but we can't. Uh, so we've got plenty of palm trees on the outside. Bearing in mind the island is Fucking massive. If we go to objects and if we scroll all the way up to trees, hit terrain and objects so we don't have anything selected. Uh, so close trees, open structures, grab ourselves a shipwreck 3A. Uh, I want to grab a shipwreck 3A. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. didn't want to scroll. There we go. Shipwreck 3A. That's got an LED bug as well. We could probably. We can pretty much place this thing anywhere. This is quite a big shipwreck. Um, there's plenty of places we can just jam this thing. So there are there are plenty of open spaces for things like farms and things like houses and stuff. So yeah, we've uh, we've not ignored the player, although we may ignore them. Oh, I still I still think that would be kind of cool just to jam a little boat in there. Nope, 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 nope. We can come out, we can do the last pass in the island or something. Yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, so, anywhere else where we can just squeeze a few, squeeze a few palm trees in. Uh, I think there probably is. Maybe we can go back on ourselves. Uh, P palm. Yep. Kind of, kind of really want, oh, there is a little trench there. We did leave deliberately a little, little trench in the world. So, uh, E transform. Drag you down. Normally I like putting trees next to rocks and things, but 
I think here is not too bad if we just jam them in a little trench. Rotate. Yep. And then anywhere anywhere else. Any any anywhere else. Uh they're kind of in with all the deciduous trees, which is kind of cool. So drop me down, ra spin. Yeah. So there's plenty of them. There's quite a lot of them. Um yeah, okay, cool. So that's the palm trees in. They're all blended in with the deciduous trees. Excellent. Uh, hit terrain objects so we don't have anything uh, selected. We're going to scroll up and we are going to throw in, well, let's throw in a few driftwood piles because you can't have enough wood. Uh, so just throw them in around the outside, around the outside. Uh, I'm just going to check that a second. Make sure it is actually on the beach and not in anything. No, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Terrain objects. So driftwood is kind of a neat little way of uh, sun there, a uh, neat little way of giving the player some uh, extra resource. But once it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. So I'll throw this around. It also means that if the player is going to explore, then they can absolutely explore the island and get little little nuggets of uh, wood. Right. So there's some over there, some here. There's quite a lot already on the island. We have been quite good at putting this stuff down when it needs to be down. Um, I might put some down here somewhere. There we, go. there we go. I mean, once it's gone, it is absolutely gone. Um, so I don't mind that. It's it's like treasure resources that are a bit more of a problem. Uh, terrain objects, so we don't have anything selected. So that's driftwood down. Uh, we should, let's do the rest of the plants first. So we also need to worry about PP, P-I-P-I, -I. there we are. Uh, and PP is kind of important because that is what you uh, what you use if you've been poisoned. I can't remember, I mean we have put some down, we have put some down, but it's one of those things that's kind of useful and it also encourages the player to explore. So I'll put another one down there. Yeah, I don't mind so much with uh, these types of plants uh, because you only get to use them once. And once they've been used, there's another one there. So there's at least three on the island. Uh, once you've used them, you've used them. Then the player has to farm the rest. Add another one. Yeah, it's four. So we, uh, we've been quite generous with it. I think there might be one in here. Five. Yes, there is. So make it equal because I uh, is it one PP or two these days that makes uh, anti venom? Well, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go to Wav La Wav 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 uh, whatever that plant is. The, the 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 plant that has actually no reason for being in the map editor because it has no reason to exist in the game. Look, it's got a little little purple flower, little pink flower. Um. I'm going to add that just around the island here and there, uh, partly for ground uh, interest and partly because, well, no, let's get a little closer now, yeah. Uh, and partly because in the future it might be uh, useful, there might be a use for it. However, right at this moment in time, I don't know. Have we, we ever come back to the island, uh, the island and edit it? Uh, I don't know. Well, that's the thing. Um, something might happen in the future. Somebody might be playing on the island, having downloaded it in the past, and be like, oh, suddenly this plant's useful. All right. But it's not on the island that I'm playing on. And we might have moved on. We might have we might be playing a different game or something. And they're like, can you update your map? We might be, we might be all like, hmm, what map? So, so we're uh, absolutely going to have to uh, cover our bases when it comes to resources and by doing that um, yeah we just make it easier on the player just a little bit you never want to make it too easy but uh, terrain objects I'm gonna add one more one more to the island yes you can go there that's a they're kind of pretty uh, plants anyway and they had a little bit of ground interest ground texture so that's cool uh, hit terrain objects so uh, young palms 
we're going to na need to add a few of these around. Uh, these are, again, rotate. Uh, we'll add a few around. Rotate. Uh, around rotate. Uh, because the, otherwise these are all going to be in the same direction. So give it a little rotate. I'm just putting yarn palm one down. And a little rotate for rotate. Uh, just here and there. These are four leaves. Uh, fibrous leaves that the players are going to need. Because they're going to need to get them uh, use them for water and things. But the interesting thing about fibrous leaves is they use for so much. Oh, we're in the boat. Uh, they use for so much... Uh, in terms of building and water and it's like one of those resources that's a little bit overstretched so adding a lot of fibrous leaves around if you if you're making the player run around and collect them then that's absolutely fine I know I wouldn't mind that uh, even though there's a lot of them it's like well now you got to search them out oh you've uh, you've harvested them all from this area well, that's unfortunate. Now go and now go and get them from a different area. So it does help uh, get your players running around the island looking for things. Uh, hopefully near the palms, they are probably going to chop down. So throw these in. Do a little spin because they all have the same. Uh, well, it's the same model. If you don't spin them, then uh, unfortunately, so young palm do turn objects. Uh, yeah, if you don't spin them, they'll just end up on the same axis and it'll just look a little bit weird. Weird that you've done something strange. Okay, another little spin. Uh, straight over here somewhere, there's one there, so I'll, I'll add them in pairs. And uh, a little spin. Is it really. Do you really have to give them a little spin? Hmm. I guess not if you're putting them far enough apart. But uh, hey. And that's what we're doing. So just throwing them down. I know we've we've placed a lot already, but hey, it's a, it's a thing. Uh, I mean, we're also putting them next to the palm trees, so there's a little signpost for them. It's like, well, here's a signpost. Go and go and grab the young palm from uh, exactly where you think a young palm should be, rather than jamming them in the forest. So there's none in the forest. Just as there's no palms in the forest because. Uh, these are pines, they have needles uh, that contain um, acids, the soil is going to be very acid uh, rather than alkaline, uh, which means deciduous trees probably don't want to be growing in the, uh, growing in the forest. Uh, so that's a little, just a little thing to, to make a note of. Uh, so we've done that, we are going to need to add, uh, so we've got young piles, we've got the blah blah blah, we've got the quawas, I think we've already added quite a few fruit trees to the island. Let's just have a little look up here. Ah, oh, we do. We have the ficus up there. Interesting. Uh, hit terrain objects. Just so nothing selected. We've been putting the ficuses, uh, putting the fruit trees. There's one there. That's one. Uh, underneath the ficuses. So just making sure we've got some in, uh, in here that are available too. So that's a quawa. Uh, so it's like, hey, you know you can get uh, three. So it's uh, which one was that? Is that? No, the other one was a cura. That's a koala. Okay, so that's definitely three or four. Oh, I'm lost now. Lost now. Um, I think it's kind of interesting that we've been putting them in, um, just kind of casually underneath these ficuses. Uh, I think I'll put one in here. So you can come. Oh no, there is one here. There it is. So there's a koala. Yeah. So if you want to, you want to train your players uh, to find the fruit trees. So you, you put them um, in basically the same location. So there's one there, another koala. So is this one kura? Hmm. Uh, a couple of skilly bobs. Because why not? I'm going to put. Um, where's a kura? me all the way at the top so uh curl. there we are i don't think we have one in here so i'm just gonna drop one in here real quick t ra spin there we go excellent 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 hit terrain objects so we have that deselected 
and then have a look around here. Uh, I would imagine there would have been one in here. Uh, here's a ficus that you can chop down. Uh, that appears to be a koala. Yep. So terrain objects. And hmm, so there are plenty of fruit trees that do exist. Let's just check the forest a second. Uh, is there one in here? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. So koala. Um, and there's a kura there. So there's plenty of fruit, uh, fruit trees around the island. Uh, that's fine in the places we would expect them to be. Absolutely brilliant. So we've got the driftwood. Um, anything else here while well, we're here? So um, driftwood, check. Kura, check. Um, we've got the palms. Check and check. Young palms, check. Uh, we are going to need young pines. So, uh, pine small, there we are. And they go in the forest. Hmm, in the forest. So we've got two types. We've got these boys. So we've, we've got a few in uh, the forest already, but we, we're going to throw a few in. And we're going to just angle them so they're sort of facing up. And then hit, oh, let's hit, hit R, but we don't need to hit R because we already are rotating them. So that's fine. Uh, throw one in there, terrain objects, because these have a little... Oh, 3D, uh, we can move them in three dimensions, unlike the palms. Uh, that snapped onto something, spin it. Okay. Um, if if a player is to come along and say, oh, I want to build in this area, they can just chop these guys down. They won't regrow. Uh, they'll get a couple of sticks, one or, one or two sticks from them, which is fine. Um, it also means that we are adding some interest to the forest floor just by adding things the player can harvest. Zip. Let's want to make sure this one is actually touching the ground. It is. Excellent. Oh, hello tree. Yep. We have so many objects around. It's just like, hmm, pine small three. Uh, pine small two and pine small three. What happened to pine small one? Hmm. That. Oh, that detective is the question. Uh, right. Give him a spin. So these ones are slightly bigger. Uh, there. Walk back and then give it a spin. So plants tend to grow upwards towards the light. That's why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, upwards. Give it a spin. Spin it. Spin it so that you. Uh, there we go. Yeah, and if you want to want to put a house or whatever up there, then it's absolutely fine. You can still do it. There's plenty of space. Plenty of space. Uh, kind of I kind of I kind of don't want to do it in such a way that if this doesn't work that we absolutely uh, block uh, a player from doing something so uh, limit it also there's a path through here so I just want to be a little bit a little bit wary about not hiding the path or blocking the path with uh, objects even though they are uh, technically destructible so, uh, yeah you don't want to you don't, you don't want to uh, break something for the player uh, before the player's had a chance to get onto the island. Uh, same thing here. Up. There you go. And that's been excellent. There's plenty of little trees in the bottom of the forest. It's kind of made things a little bit more... Hmm. Foresty. Yeah. Excellent. So you can deforest the forest floor, but you're not going to deforest the forest. Excellent. So there's more little plants around. Everything's looking a little bit greener. There's more uh, palm trees around. There's more resources around. Uh, potato plants. Have we added any potatoes? Ah, uh, now we're in a freaking palm. There we go. Uh, maybe not. Around the edge of the forest and in the forest floor, I'm adding some potatoes. Uh, there we go, no oh, potatoes. Why are we adding them in the forest? Oh, uh, why would we not? So one, two, three, and I'm gonna make, I'll add one down here. Four. There we go. Um, so there's four potatoes. If you guys want to pick them, oh, you guys, if the player wants to pick them, the player wants to pick them and then start uh, turning them into uh, alcohol. 
essentially vodka, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, why would you not do that? Don't spend. So there's, there's five potato plants, so they should be able to be farmed. You wouldn't want to pick them and then just turn them straight into uh, vodka um, or ethanol, I guess. Um, or if you leave it too long, methanol. Uh, whatever you use to fuel your boats and your um, your gyrocopter. Uh, so with the koala, blah, 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 young palm, hmm, MPP. Yep, that's all plant plant species I think we've got in there. Um, we can go to, ooh, not structures, it's going to be items. So, uh, air tank, we don't need it. Arrow, we don't need it. Barrel, we don't need it. Barrel pile, we don't need. Because we, we have... Uh, racks. Mm, well, uh, the thing about racks is that they're going to have treasure on them. Um, we could put a few more racks out at sea if we want to add barrels and things. Bricks, no thank you. Boys, no thank you. Uh, boy, boy. Nope. Cloth. Hmm. I just realized we do need to add some rocks here and there. Uh, we can add some cloth to the island. What we can do is just add it uh, to logical places. So I'm just going to bring it up because it's a physics object. Rotate and just have it flat, and then D and then hit B to clone. Just did a little rotate. A couple of bits of cloth there. Uh, terrain objects because we got we got the airplane selected. So the reason I'm pulling it up out of the ground because it's kind of jammed into the ground and just layered over. Uh, that means that when a player initially approaches the island, this stuff will spawn in and then just drop because it's a physics object as opposed to a non-physics object. I will move it slightly closer to the beach though just in case. There we go. Uh, we can kind of add them other places as well. Let's go and add them logically over here. Ah oh, yes. Logical logical progression right here. Right. Mm. Mm. And not turn. Train objects. Um, bring in mind that players can always make cloth. So it's not not necessarily something we need to go crazy and add a load of. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, five cloth at the moment. Uh, there we go. Let's add one more just to be uh, just be on the safe side. Oh yes, Skilly Bob. Why would we not have cloth in the skilly bobs? Dunno. Dunno. So there we go. A little bit of, bit of my cloth down there. Uh, so we got cloth, coconuts, don't need it. Coconut cloth, don't need it. Crude act, crude bow. I mean, if we wanted to, we could add like crude bow or something to these guys. Um, crude hammer. Yeah, stuff like that. It doesn't really. Hmm. That's interesting. Yes. Doesn't really matter too much if we wanted to add a little story uh, around here. Um, can then label make it lantern. Now yeah, lanterns are kind of cool. So what we can do is just add a lantern T and just add it to the Skelly Bob's house. Yeah, that's not terrifying at all. There we go. Uh, since lanterns are used quite a lot in um, in houses. Uh, I'm quite happy to add a few around the island. I will add one here as well. There we go. Um, I don't want to... Uh, come on, come on camera. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, I don't want to add it in the place where it can fall off though. Uh, so you're going you're to be very careful with LOD. Sometimes the rocks tend to be a bit bigger than they look. Uh, so let's do this. There you go. Terrain objects. So we've got two lanterns on the island. That'll do. That'll do. I don't want too many lanterns because that um, that add stress to someone's GPU. Uh, lashings. Well, yeah. Um, you can add lashings. Uh, I don't think we need to, but you can. Uh, we can add a few here. Just as a little little present for anyone coming in here. They're not uh, super presenty because they're not. I mean, it's not hard to make lashings, but yeah, it's nice to nice to find them. 
Leather, nope, machete, no. Uh, parts, absolutely not. Rawhide, mm, maybe. Uh, axes, knives, rocks. Oh, yeah, we do need to add rocks to the island. So, we will go around to where these palm trees are on the outside. And just add one, two, I'm not even going to bother to rotate them. So, whenever we, wherever we get little rocks, uh, wherever we get rock piles on the island, I'm just going to add a few uh, around. Literally just drag them out of the toolbox. Uh, there we go. There we go. Because they're so super useful. Uh, another one over here. So plenty of them. Uh, not too, too many. Uh, but plenty of them. And again, if your player knows that uh, they should be inspecting rock piles and things along the shore, then, well, uh, that means they're going to explore. Which is excellent. So again, over here. Ooh, I see. It's not floating. It's sort of um, yeah. So that rock wasn't actually floating. It's just kind of uh, following the collision model for that particular rock. It'll sort itself out when uh, when the player turns up on the island because it'll turn into physics objects and just drop down to the beach. Why do we add so many rocks? Um, because they're used for tools. Kind of the same way that fibrous leaves are used for water and so farming and drinking and making tools and one of those resources is kind of a little bit overstretched. Uh, so plenty of rocks. And then we're back onto the beach. Um, we could do a second pass, just throw a few around on the inside. Just around here. That's fine. You actually in the little trench thing. Yeah, we kind of left this little trench thing. I don't know why. We just did. It was... Well, that's fine. Uh, just a few around here. Plenty of rocks. I mean, that's a lot of rocks for an island. Uh, scrap corrugated. Oh, yeah. Why would we not have that? Ooh, a little bit of flotsam. Oh, flotsam and jetsam. Uh, so flotsam is stuff that's floated it's essentially rubbish it's floated away from um like a ship or a shoreline or something and jetsam is stuff that's been jettisoned overboard actually physically thrown overboard uh rot rotate hmm I'm selecting something else i fear so plenty of metal i think metal around where the ship is let me not do that t um just to remember how much metal it requires uh, you are required to have when it comes to things like um, buildings, raft bases, and such. I remember. It's one of those things that you do end up with a lot of. Oh, it's also quite useful for. Oh, it's also quite useful for uh, farming plots. Um, there's a bit around here. It's fine. Throw another bit over here, I guess. T doesn't matter if it's in the sea because it doesn't matter if it's in the sea. There we go. So a lot, lot where the ship is makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, not so much anywhere else. So terrain objects. That's I mean, there's plenty for this island. Uh, scrap plank. Ooh yeah, scrap planks. Uh, kind of useful. Where would they be? It's kind of on the beach. It's kind of on the beach. So no, I'm just going to add them. I don't think it, it really matters too much about angling and things, but I just like to do it. So I'll throw them around, just kind of around, around. Keep snapping onto things in the background. It is a pain in the butt. It is a pain in the butt. But, ah, could, you, could you not? Right. Um, into set another one over here. Three. A little rotate in one of those really useful resources. Uh, or, uh, is it like, why is that rock floating? It's nice cloth. All oh, right, all right. Um, there we go. And then, I don't know, five somewhere. I can be here. It's fine. So, T to transform, and then just to do a little rotate. So as if it's been washed up on the shore. 
So train an object, so we don't have any selected. Um, we got the spear gun. Nope, the player's going to make that spear gun arrow again. Spyglass. Nope, Sp sticks. Oh yeah, we do need to add sticks. How do we add sticks to an island? Well, that's an excellent question. Uh, glad nobody asked it. Um, so you're going to need a few sticks here and there. You can't just take them out of the toolbox and just let them go. Another physics object. So we'll add a few to the forest floor. Whether they're actually visible on the forest floor, I don't know. Uh, is that? Yep. They will uh, we'll rotate laterally so they're not all lined in the same direction. Uh, under trees, perhaps. Uh, not like that, though. Um, yep. We can go, well, not a little bit crazy, but sure. Uh, you would tend to find sticks in the forest because that is where the trees are. And when the wind blows, the trees shed their branches, especially pines. Scots pines are kind of terrible for it. Uh, they don't tend to blow over as much, but they do tend to uh, they do tend to shed branches. I don't know, I don't, don't know if that's a defensive mechanism. Like um, it, it, they've evolved that way, so the trunks don't just snap. But uh, yeah, yep. There we go. Sorry, objects. We have a few sticks on the beach as well, because otherwise, oh, a little bit of a little bit of flotsam again. Make sure we're not rotating something in the background. Uh, so there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of moving around. A lot of moving around. Uh, T, just move it up a little bit. I don't know what happens if it's clipped into the terrain at such an angle that it could it end up underneath the terrain. I don't know. I guess so. If it if it ends up under the island mesh, then it's quite possible for it to uh, completely disappear. Hmm. And where would it go? Uh, it would just fall out the bottom of the world, I guess. It would fall out of the bottom of the world. Uh, yeah, sticks are one of the one of the universal resources. Unfortunately, one of the universal resources that actually is taken out of the game once it's used. So either as a tool, uh, as a torch, as fuel for fires, as building resources, as um, yeah, about pretty much everything. Uh, once the tool has been used up, it disappears. So a bit of an issue. Um, when a f when it's used up in a fire, it again it disappears. So are there any sticks here? Mm, not really. So there's plenty in the forest, and there's plenty on the beach. It's kind of here and there. It's enough to get someone started, I guess. A uh, little sticky boy here. Why not? Seems like a lot, but yeah, when you require like fourteen for um, a raft bundle, yeah, it's not a lot at all. It's no tools, no tarps. What are you doing here in my toolbox? Tarps have been removed from the game. I don't even know if it's got a texture. No, it doesn't. So no texture. Um, how are you? How are you even here? Huh? Like this to show when the last time the uh, the lads looked at the map editor was. So untextured. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, don't add tarps. There's no reason for it. Tires. I mean, okay. So you need a three for, or is it two for a tire raft? I don't. I don't know. You don't normally add them to an island. Um, raft base. I think I'm gonna add a couple to the island though. Just near the near the rack, just to kind of emphasise the emphasise the fact that the uh, um, the cargo ship was probably carrying stuff. Okay. Don't need to rotate them because they're it's a, it's a wheel. <laughs> but that's probably enough to. I think it's two for a raft base. Or if it isn't, that's that's just teasing. Uh, right, type out. Uh, anything else? Water skins, water jugs? No. I think as far as loose resources, we are okay. Yes. So loose resources. We have plenty of sticks. We have plenty of uh, plenty of metal, plenty of wood, plenty of rocks, plenty of cloth, plenty of food, plenty of antidote. Um, we have. I think the only other plant is going to be. Uh, we go here is going to be the yucca. Hmm. So they are on the island. 
And I'm just going to make sure. So we've got one there. Uh, where else have we got one? Uh, we've got one over here. Yep, that's two. Uh, do we have one in here? Ooh, that is an excellent question. No. Interesting. No, we got one up there, which is three, next to the jumping puzzle. If you're desperate enough to get it, then you'll go and get it from the jumping puzzle. Um, hmm. Interesting, we haven't, haven't, haven't actually put that money down. Uh, four, there's one over there. Uh, any in here? I think we were likely to have put them in there. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. This would be a lack of yucca. Glad we're kind of checking that out then. Um, uh, and... No. So there's what, four yucca plants on the island? How crazy is that? How crazy, crazy, crazy. Right, uh, that's fine. We can... What we can do is come down here. Put one in the forest. It's absolutely fine. Drop you down there. Uh, so that's... Five, well, four if you're counting accessible ones, one in here. So basically you just put them anywhere where we want the player to go. Um, I don't mind putting too many yuccas down because of the scarcity of uh, the leaves. It's a bit of an issue. I'm going to put one in there. I will put one here, in fact. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Well, will turn. Well, push it towards the rock and then just check the, uh, check the base out here nope, that's fine and maybe a few more so they're kind of they are kind of around the island uh, put one under here as well these things do grow pretty big and I know this because there is uh, we had one of those kids it's one of those little logs that were had like wax at each end and a pair of googly eyes on it and then uh, what you do is you you take the, the uh, scrape the wax off one side with the googly eyes, uh, stick it in some dirt, and eventually it grows into a full full tree. And we had it in the bathroom for ages. And uh, basically, what happened was it it was just in a pot in the bathroom, just kind of being I guess miserable because plants tend to want to be outside. And um, then we we moved, put it in the garden. Uh, and it grew. It's huge now. It's just like 20, 20 foot tall, 25 foot tall, something like that. It's incredible. So, yeah, yakas get huge. Uh, so I'm going to throw one there as well. Just a little peninsula so people are, are drawn out. There's plenty of yaka plants. So that's plenty of plants. We've got the plants sorted. Uh, that's plenty of rocks. That's plenty of... Um, Flotsam, plenty of jetsam. There's a few things I do want to add just quickly. I know it's going to be a little bit of a longer session. But, 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 I'm going to add some, some clay to the water. So I'm just going to, oh, not there though. Not there. Boop. Ah, here. Here feels a little better. The trouble with adding it underwater, if we add it too deep, the game might just throw a load of coral over it. Also, if we put it here, the player might also um leap off the top and break something by landing on our clay so it's got to be out at sea because the clay has to be at sea uh which is the one of the things oh yeah i know where we can put it it's a little nug of clay there a nug of clay so it's gonna be also visible should be a little bit visible um and also places where people might actually go and swim so uh, under the tail of oh yeah now that's gonna be fun having to swim under here and go ooh, 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 ooh. yep um not so much on the shallow beach don't really don't really think it's gonna be there uh, but the rocky beach rocket said oh mate you scared me Oops. <laughs> i can't get away from him um okay cool uh yeah down here will be kind of cool as well only because you're trying to you're trying to mine it and it's all oh no 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 no, no, no that will actually be a pain in the butt. Uh, you're mining it and it just falls off into the void. No, that's just 
That's just terrible. Um, so there's one, two, three play resources. Uh, put one here. Drop it down because it's open on the bottom. Um, that'd be fun if you take a raft in that area. Let's get just get a little uh, bottomed out on the on the clay. Uh, another one there. So that's what uh, five. Uh, the mining rocks. I'm going to put some in land. So uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a rocky boy here. I don't like it there. Well, mine it and get rid of it. Get rid of it. Uh, put some in the forest. They kind of, they do kind of look like um, I don't know, like the hazelnut chocolate. I guess I don't know. I'm just trying to think of which chocolate it is. There is a chocolate, and it's it's nuts, and then you kind of have chocolate all over the top of the nuts. Hmm, that wasn't very descriptive, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're adding these because they are they are a useful source of um, stones, and they're kind of a visible source of stones as well. So we're just around the island. Ah, nearly done. Nearly done. We haven't added the animals yet. Ooh, that's another video. That's absolutely another video. Right, um, I don't want to put resources on resources. Let's go through here. Let's add another one here. So they are around and it's useful to create a pickaxe uh, and then mine them. That'd be quite good. Another one here. Yep, so the mining nodes can be on the surface and the clay nodes are in the sea. Excellent. Uh, not too many though, because we don't want to... Uh, well, we don't want to swamp the player, but we also don't want to um, just have the island covered in resources. He says, looking at this area, which is actually covered in resources. There we go. There we go. I think that's enough. Right. So we got our mining resources. We've got our loose resources. We've got our plant resources. And uh, everything is now looking a little bit, a little bit better. We need to still put on some animals uh, to the island because, well, why would we not? Um, and once we've done that, I think we're going to need to test the island. Ooh, well, this is certainly the biggest island um, we've made so far. It is absolutely monstrous, uh, but it is also kind of the mo most natural island, I guess. Um, don't know what to do with the shark. Not entirely sure. Uh, might just leave him out of the picture and just have this as like a, a home island with relatively safe waters. You know, if you don't mind the snakes and the sea urchins and the lionfish. But you know what? I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So uh, if you're watching this uh, and you're, like, you're liking it, definitely leave a like, like leave, a, leave a subscribe and click the bell because that gives you notifications when videos go live. And I tell you what. I'll catch you next time.